Hello friends, today let us know the important uh, commercial crop and its uh, insect pests and also the management. So, as you know this cotton it is uh, called as uh, king of uh, fibers, it is uh, grown uh, throughout the global and it occupies 5 percent of uh, total uh, cropped area and uh, India stands first in uh, area and uh, second in uh, production. So, in uh, globally cotton is grown as Bt cotton. So, here is the graph where in uh, different year how this uh, cotton is uh, grown and uh, how much uh, production is uh, and how much yield is obtained in uh, different areas. So, in uh, India the major uh, cotton growing states are Gujarat and uh, Maharashtra they occupies almost uh, more than 50 percent of the area and other uh, the important uh, cotton growing states are uh, Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Karnataka. Today in uh, India also majority of the area it is under uh, uh, Bt cotton, okay. it uh, actually manages uh, Lepidopter pests and uh, at the same times the sucking pests they are going to cause much damage and uh, here are the list of pests, sucking pests and uh, bowl worms which cause much damage in uh, non Bt cotton and also some of the stainers like red cotton bug and also dusky cotton bug which are late occurring pests and they are also going to cause much damage during uh, later stages. And this is uh, one uh, slide wherein uh, uh, the important insect pests showing their occurrence in uh, uh, different uh, countries. One important pest is American bollworm. So, it is uh, found throughout the India and other countries also. Recently, it was actually recorded in uh, Brazil also. The another important pest pink bollworm and it is occurring uh, uh, throughout uh, India and other countries like America, Africa and also Australia. And next important pest area species and uh, this is also uh, one of the important pests among bollworms occurring uh, throughout North Africa, India, Pakistan and also other countries. And uh, next uh, important pest like cotton leaf roller, white fly, leaf hopper, aphids and in some part of the country even uh, mealy bug. So, uh, recently occurred in uh, India, myriad bug and also flower midge these are the uh, emerging pests recently on uh, Bt cotton. Okay. So, these are the some of the important pests. Now, important pests which are occurring on uh, cotton both sucking pest and uh, uh, bowl worms. So, Liriomyza it is one uh, important pest immediately it is uh, occurring once the crop uh, uh, puts up 2 to 3 leaf stays and uh, by remaining uh, inside the uh, 2 layers it is going to cause uh, damage. Next uh, important and it is going to I mean it is occurring uh, throughout uh, India even uh, south central and uh, north uh, uh, India that is uh, leaf hopper it is also called as uh, jacids both uh, adults and uh, nymphs they are going to cause much damage and uh, the affected cotton plant it is going to uh, produce the characteristic uh, symptoms like uh, margin of the leaves start curling downwards and also starts redding. Ultimately, the hopper burn symptom. So, it is the last stage and even some cases it is uh, going to cause much damage even uh, depth of the uh, plant it is going to occur. The another important pest that is uh, thrips under a dry situation it is going to uh, multiply rapidly and its symptom is shriveling of uh, leaves uh, due to scraping of uh, epidermis and uh, continuous uh, desapping. So, it uh, produces the characteristic uh, silvery appearance on the lower surface of the leaves and it is going to see from the distance even. Next uh, sucking pest that is aphids both here uh, nymphs and adults they are going to cause much damage and uh, damage it is uh, causing both direct and also indirect uh, 
damage, direct damage most of the I mean uh, insects which are going to congregate on uh, growing uh, tips and uh, it is going to produce the honeydew secretion which is going to fall on the leaves at uh, later stage even on the bowls also it is going to fall and uh, it uh, enhance the development of uh, this uh, shooting mold. If you see it looks like a, a sicky appearance uh, plant. Now, in the next uh, important pest that is white fly. So, both uh, here nymphs and uh, adults they are going to cause much damage to the plant and it is one of the complete pest as you can say and uh, it is very much important in uh, transmission of uh, CLCV diseases and here also this uh, shooty mold uh, uh, development is uh, seen it is because of honeydew secretion on the uh, plants and thereby lint uh, contamination is also seen. So, so recently the other uh, important pests which are occurred on uh, especially on uh, Bt cotton that is uh, mirid bug and uh, this uh, mirid bug. Uh, so, it was recorded in uh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and other parts of the uh, country and uh, here it is going to uh, cause damage due to insertion of its silage to the growing uh, squares even uh, developing uh, uh, bowls even sometimes it is going to cause even uh, flowers also. And because of this abnormal production of uh, flowers and even uh, premature uh, shedding of the squares and also small bowls is uh, seen which is affected by these mirid bugs. At the same time because of its uh, insertion of silage, so characteristic uh, symptoms of uh, uh, this uh, oozing out of yellow fluid from the uh, these buds is seen. And uh, sometimes even as well you can see the feeding functions on bowls and uh, another uh, symptom that is uh, one can say it is character, uh, characteristic uh, symptoms produced by mirid bug that is uh, parrot picking uh, uh, symptoms because of uh, this much of the damage it is caused to the developing bowls and uh, ultimately the deformed bowls are uh, going to produce. So, this uh, mealy bug it is uh, occurred uh, uh, throughout the country recently and here uh, both uh, crawlers and also nymphs and adults they are going to congregate on the plants and uh, they are going to congregate on uh, each and every part of the plant that is uh, buds, squares, bowls and even on uh, shoots also. Because of this, so complete uh, drying of the plants can be seen even sometimes it is going to deteriorate the quality of the lint also. And recently this uh, flower midge occurred in uh, uh, some of the uh, states especially in Karnataka. It is also going to cause much damage on the uh, squares and uh, even uh, the developing uh, flowers because of insertion of its eggs in the flowers. So, sometimes even uh, 10 to 15 uh, uh, maggots they are going to emerge from these uh, uh, flowers and because of this so internal content will be uh, destroyed and the premature uh, shedding of the uh, flowers can be seen even sometimes squares shedding is also seen. And these are the some of the late occurring pests that is uh, dusky cotton bug and uh, it is uh, uh, seen uh, in just opening uh, bowls in uh, numerous numbers and uh, Another pest is red cotton bug and it is also going to cause at a later stage especially during uh, opening of the uh, bowls and because of this uh, even uh, the quality of the lint and even uh, viability of the seeds it is uh, reduced. Okay, friends, uh, so up to this we have seen uh, the various uh, sucking pests which are occurring on uh, uh, cotton. And uh, next uh, we will see the bollworm complex which are going to cause uh, direct damage among them that is uh, Helicorpa armigera which is uh, seen uh, uh, throughout the country in, uh, and also other countries. Uh, the these are the different uh, color marks on uh, different uh, ecosystems and uh, it is uh, going to cause damage on uh, uh, developing uh, bowls, squares and also even it is going to feed on flowers also. Because of this square shedding is uh, uh, seen and uh, the heavy loss it is uh, due to uh, the square because of characteristic feeding on the squares. 
Next important pest that is uh, spotted the bolom. Here we have two species, areas vitella and areas insulina. So it is also going to cause much damage. And uh, recently it has uh, uh, damaged even uh, BT cotton also in some of the pockets. And similarly, this pest also causes uh, damage to the squares. Then uh, at early stage, it is going to act as a shoot uh, borer and later stage even it is going to cause the developing bowls by boring. Then uh, recently this uh, pink bowlworm has caused much damage on uh, even BT cotton also. So, here it uh, lays some 100 to 150 eggs on uh, uh, squares, uh, flowers and uh, more preferably on uh, developing uh, bowls that is 15 to 30 uh, days old they are preferred for egg laying. And, uh, emerged larvae from the egg, it is uh, white in color and after a third instar, it is going to get uh, this uh, pinkish color and uh, ultimately afterwards, the developed uh, layer comes out from the bowls and uh, pipates in the soil and emerges out as adult. These are the characteristic uh, symptoms which are uh, produced on the different parts of the cotton plants, reproductive parts especially, the on uh, flower bud, in flowers. I mean uh, the characteristic uh, symptom that is uh, rosette flowers is seen because of its webbing inside the flower. And even uh, sometimes it also bowls after feeding on uh, flowers. So, developing uh, larvae it is going to bore into the developing bowls to feed on its uh, preferred uh, food that is uh, seed. And uh, these are the exit holes uh, which actually cut open by the last instar larvae for pupation in the soil. Because of this, the bad bowl opening is uh, seen. In some cases, some 8 to 10 larvae will come out from the bad opened poles. And this is one tobacco caterpillar. So, occasionally occurs or sporadically it occurs on uh, uh, cotton. And it is mostly acts as a defoliator and sometimes even it also feeds on this uh, developing poles. And another uh, uh, pest that is uh, cotton leaf roller, it is also occasional uh, pest which is occurring on uh, cotton. So, its characteristic symptom is uh, folding the leaves and feeding inside the uh, leaves. So, there are some uh, mite species which are occurring on uh, cotton, among them one is red spider mite. So, it is also occurring at uh, later stage and uh, because of its uh, continuous feeding, the uh, plants will be stunted and uh, the uh, flower is uh, brittle in appearance. The another uh, mite that is yellow mite which occurred uh, recently on uh, uh, cotton especially in uh, uh, Karnataka. So, it uh, belongs to tetranicidae and uh, because of its uh, continuous uh, desapping, the leaves become brittle and also later stage it is going to shed also. So, in this class, we have studied uh, the various insect pests which are occurring on uh, uh, cotton and also the symptoms uh, produced by these insect pests. In the next class, we are going to uh, study about how we are going to manage these pests on cotton. Thank you.